have another day pack for you to check out from Direct Action. We're looking here at the Dragon Egg. And what this is designed for is a 25 liter day pack or light assault pack, patrol pack, whatever term you want to use. And uh, Direct Action, you know, is a newer uh, company to the market and is really coming out with some innovative features that I'm going to be able to show you today with this lightweight pack and really show you, you know, what the features are, the pros and cons. So what we're looking at here is a 500 denier Kodora nylon backpack. That's great. I love 500 denier. It's very tough, very durable, but it cuts down on weight. So they did a great job with that. And I'm liking them seeing more and more companies doing 500 denier instead of the thousand. Thousand is just overkill. It makes the pack a lot heavier than it needs to be. So 500 denier, gotta love that. It is foreign produced. So that's something to note. Now, uh, the camo that we are looking at here today is green zone petticoat or petticoat green zone camo. Uh, they have tons of different camo options, lots and lots of options as well, which is great from, you know, blacks and grays to all sorts of different styles of camo, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, and then finally, f uh, the um, volume on this pack is 25 liters or 1,525 cubic inches. So th that's the volume on this pack. All right, let's go a little deeper in and give you a little bit more of the dimensions as well as weight and things like that. Now, the very first thing, and I'm going to do both inches and centimeters for this, is that from the top to the bottom, we're looking at 18.8 inches or 48 centimeters. So that's real good. You know, I care about how long it is because I'm a pretty big guy at 6'2 and have a longer torso. Anything over 18 inches is a plus. So I really like that it's that long. Uh, I really like that aspect of it. Now, if we look at the width from side to side, we're looking at 10 inches or 27 centimeters. And then we're looking at a depth of 7 inches or 18 centimeters, as well as this weighs three and a half pounds, which equals 15. 1,590 grams. So those are just a few of the basic specs of this pack that we're looking at here today. If Rambo ever had a bug out bag, he'd probably be using the CV Life Outdoor Tactical Backpack. It's one of the toughest and most durable backpacks out there. This is a bag that most preppers would be proud to own. Any survivalist worth his salt knows the importance of having a bug out bag that can hold enough supplies to last him or her for 72 hours. While 72 hours may not seem like a lot, you'd be amazed at just how many items you'll need to store in your bag. A good old bug out bag will have three days worth of food and water, extra clothes, a flashlight and batteries, your important documents, a first aid kit, a transistor radio, paracord and much more. If outdoor survival is part of your evacuation plan, you'll probably pack a collapsible tent, a poncho, a solar shower, cookware, and other items to help you survive the outdoors. What do all these items have in common? They take up space. That's exactly why the CV Life Outdoor Tactical Backpack is one of the best investments a prepper could make. With a capacity of 30 liters, you'll have a lot of space to store your items. The construction of the back is solid, to say the least. A bag is only as tough as its stitching. The stitching on this bag is extremely strong. The material used is waterproof 600D nylon material. This is the perfect bag for outdoor use. You can't use your child's old book bag as an outdoor bug out bag. The bag will fall apart in days. You need a bag that's constructed with solid material like this one. One downside to using such sturdy material is that the bag is slightly heavy even when it's empty. When you load it up with items, the weight can be considerable and similar to the Alice packs that soldiers carry. However, most men will find that the bag is easy to carry because of the padded and adjustable shoulder straps. These features will ease pressure on your shoulders. The 1 inch sternum strap and 1.5 inch waist belt will further help to make the bag feel snug against your back. This is very important when lugging a bug out bag. All right, so the Rush 24 2.0 backpack is 37 liters. Uh, it comes in dark green or ranger green, as they call it, black, double tap, which I think is kind of like a gray and black. Then they have kangaroo, which is your khaki slash tan. And then finally, they have dark navy. So the fabric of this backpack is 1000D nylon. Uh, so it's pretty strong. It's durable. I've tested it with some water resist, uh, some water on the surface, and it repels very well in addition to uh, protecting any water from entering the backpack. The zippers are YKK and open fairly easy. In the rear of the pack, the shoulder pads are very uh, padded in addition to providing you with the area to put your own waist belt system fabric. The Molly webbing is fairly decent. It's strong. I would say it's very good. Uh, however, 
there is a potential con here depending on the pouches you use or brands that you use to attach some gear on here including the 10 by 6 molly webbing a pouch that 511 sells the second thing i want to bring up here is the actual fabric of the material this is like a dust slash lint magnet it grabs every piece of dirt possible and i've done my very best to keep this pack clean so i can only imagine what it would be like uh, if you took it to the field it gets very hairy dirty looking very fast again it's also black so you're going to notice certain things really quick is it a bad backpack absolutely not this backpack again is really really good in terms of durability quality the zippers the style everything all of the above is great all right guys so there you have it the rush 24 2.0 tactical backpack i truly like this backpack uh it's just as we've discussed already there's some things that i feel are lacking and uh, I would definitely like to see some improvements in the next version. And we're gonna be looking today at the 511 Culver 18 backpack. I've had this for almost a year now and have really had a chance to EDC it for about two months uh, during the summer of 2017. Really got a good feel for the pack, the pros, the cons, what it has to offer, what it doesn't. Took this with me uh, day in, day out for about two months to really get that good feel for it. So I want to point out some pros that I really like about it. This is going to be a 30 liter pack. So that's on the larger end of your kind of EDC um, backpacks. You're looking at a 500 denier nylon that has been water treated for some water resistance, which is great. I'm much more of the vein of give me under a thousand for particularly around town. You know, if I'm not in the military, uh, 500 denier uh, nylon, 600, 700, any, anywhere in there is great. It's gonna be a little bit lighter weight, but still give you all the toughness that those heavier deniers would offer you. So that's a big plus as well. There's lots of different color combinations that they offer you. This is like the olive green tan, which is kind of cool. Uh, they have way more low profile, like blacks and grays and, and all that. So there's lots of different color options out there. The other thing is that this is gonna be 19 and a half inches tall, six and a half inches deep, and it's going to be 12.25 inches wide. We're also looking at YKK zippers throughout and really just well built. The materials, nothing in here did I go, wow, that's really, you know, like falling apart. You know, they, they 511 did a really good job making sure that they, they built this well. So the first thing I wanna do is share with you the things that really stood out to me that made me really like this bag. The first thing is comfort. This thing is a super comfortable bag, even with heavy loads. It has huge, comfort, comfortable breathing pads throughout with a nice splitter down the middle to help your uh, pack breathe. And then the, the yoke itself with this kind of yoke system and then the shoulder straps having that same breathable material, nice and thick, really carry the load nicely. It doesn't bite in, dig in anywhere. They really did a good job with that. So we're out here testing out the 511 Rush 72. Uh, it's an excellent bag, it's a three-day pack, obviously the name Rush 72 Hour, and it's, it's humongous, it has a ton of room for all your gear. The idea of course is a three-day bag, so you can pack all your clothes, your food equipment, food prep, everything you need uh, for a three-day adventure. Now, we're just out here kind of testing it out, doing a little bit of hiking, building fires, just doing a little bit of bushcraft stuff, just for fun, to test it out. And it's great because I've been able to fit everything I really need in this bag. I don't think I'm really lacking anything. Uh, I've got my shelter covered, my water covered, cooking supplies, cutting, uh, everything that I need to live out here for three days if I needed to. As you can see on the bottom, there's a little bit of webbing here. And you can use that to use some straps and throw on a sleeping bag or a tent or whatever you want to carry on the bottom of the bag to free up some room in the main compartment. As you notice here on the bottom as well, there's some drain holes. So that's one thing we kind of have to mention. It's not waterproof. It is water resistant. Has these nice zipper covers, heavy duty zipper covers all around the zippers to keep the rain out as much as possible. But it's not waterproof. So if you want to make sure that your stuff is, is dry inside, your clothing and stuff like that, make sure you use dry bags. So that's the Rush 72 hour bag. And I've absolutely fallen in love with this bag. I'll probably have it for many years to come.